Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about standard deviation. Standard deviation, I would like to show you. First of all, we understand what is the standard deviation, what is the true meaning of standard deviation, as well as I will show you how manually you can calculate standard deviation. And after this, what we have to do is standard deviation, how we can analyze in Excel. So what is the difference between standard deviation of population and what is the difference between uh, standard deviation of a sample? So let me start. This is the one simple example I have taken and through this I had calculated. But before starting this, I just want to give you one important information about the standard deviation. So standard deviation is a static that measures the dispersion of a data set relative to its mean and it's calculated as the square root of the variance. The standard deviation is calculated as the square root of variance by determining each data point deviation relative to its to the mean i will show you how we have to justify this particular definition the standard deviation measures the spread of the data about the mean value it is a useful in comparing sets of data which may have the same mean but a different range here is i have taken two examples like this is the one data 15 15 15 4 16 and another data set is 2, 7, 14, 22, and 30. So you can see here in the in this uh, particular sample, 15, 15, 15, 14, 16, minimum is 14 number and maximum is 16. So there is the less spread of the numbers. But when we talk about the next one example, 2, 7, 14, 22, 30, you can see here minimum is 2 number and maximum is 30. So spread is more. So that is the, basically, we are going to calculate standard deviation. So that is most widely used measure of the dispersion of a series, commonly denoted by a symbol, that is sigma. And standard deviation is defined as the square root of the average of squares of deviation. When such deviations for the value of individual items in a series are obtained from the arithmetic average, so it would be worked out as this is the formula of standard deviation, SD. This is the summation sign, X minus X bar. X bar means we are talking about mean value and divided by N, total number of population. So let me just show you how we have to run this. First, I am going to discuss one example, how we have to calculate manually. After that same thing, we are going to calculate in Excel. Standard deviation is the example, the marks of 10 students in a class, these marks has been given 80, 90, 96, 80, 94, 72, 84, 92, 82, 90. These are total 10 students marks. How we are going to calculate SD? So here is you can see XI means these are the all 10 students marks. And this is XI minus X, that would be X bar actually, that would be X bar. But I could not be able to, we are, we, we, we will treat it as X bar, right? And that would also, we are going to treat it as X bar. And that would be X bar, right? So here is, you can see, total number is 860. That is the summation of all these marks. What I did, I have taken, there is the mean value of this total mark. So what I did, 860 total mark divided by 10, that would be mean value would be 86. Mean value is 86. Now what we have to do, here is xi minus x bar, means we are going to deduct mean value from each marks, each student's marks. So now you can see here, 80 minus 86 means minus 6. 90 minus 86, again, that is the mean value 4, right? 96 minus 86, 10, 80 minus 86, and so on, right? Minus 6. So we have received all these numbers. After that, what we have to do, whole square of these values. So 6, 6 are 36, 4, 4 are 16, 10, 10 are 100, 6, 6 are 36. In that way, I had calculated. Now, the again, we have to do summation of all these values so total is 520 total is 520 so what we have to do we will put all these things in our formula sd equal to under root 520 divided by 10 so my 
answer is 7.21. This is the formula standard deviation for of population. That is not for sample. You can see here I had put it both these formulas. Population, when standard deviation we are calculating for population. So this is the formula. Right, sigma, the standard deviation and the number of the data points, x bar, population mean and x is each of the value of the data. But when we are talking about the sample standard deviation, you can see here sample standard deviation and the number of the data points, x bar, sample mean and each of the value of the data. But you can see difference is n minus 1 in the sample. But in the population, we are taking n. So now what we have to do, now this, the same way we want to calculate for sample. So simply what we did in the same formula, 520 divided by 10 minus 1. So this is are the standard deviation for the sample. Standard deviation for sample. Now same thing I'm going to calculate in Excel. So let me show you, this is my Excel sheet. In the Excel sheet, this is the standard deviation of population, right? These are the number of the values. This is xi minus x. And the same thing I had already put it here. And this is the formula. And one by one, we are going to calculate for population as well as sample also, right? Same data we are going to use for sample and same data we are going to use population. But you have to worry where you have taken entire student's marks. So that would be known as population. But suppose you want to check, let's say, one MBA particular section. You want to check only that's performance through sample. So you have to use this particular formula. So now what I have to do, I'm just clearing this standard deviation, right? So what I will do, simply I will put this equal sign. And after this, what I'm, I'm going to do, let me a little bit bigger this size, equal sign. And after that, I am just writing STD. Here is you can see STD EV, standard deviation of the dot P means we are talking about population. And when we are talking about STD EV dot S, that stands for sample. So this is the for the population. I am just want to check population. So simply I will choose this. And after that, I'm going to select entire data. This is the data set. And uh, simply, I will press enter. Now you can see this is the answer, 7.211. I'm sure you can tell you where we had calculated manually. So manually, as our answer was 7.21. That's same. 520 divided by 10, 7.21 for the population. And Excel sheet is also giving the same answer. Now, let me, let me now again, now again, I'm going to calculate for the sample. Right, sample. So, what I have to do, simply I will write equal sign STD. And here is, I'm not going to choose point dot P, that is for the population dot S. And I had selected this and now entire sample I'm going to select and after that I'm pressing enter. So now answer is you can see 7.60. 7.60. So same I think same we can we can cross check with our manual calculation and 7.60 you can see in the case of the sample. So I'm sure this is clear to you where we are going to use uh, sample formula where we are going to use population formula there is a little bit difference this is the difference between the formula when we are going to calculate standard deviation of the population we have to use this and when we are going to calculate standard deviation of the sample we are going to use this formula so i hope this video would be helpful to you and uh, we had cross check manually as well as through excel sheet also so keep watching, stay tuned. Thank you.